here's what's frustrating about this. If you hadn't done anything and he had gone over that counter with 70 rounds of ammunition and just started shooting everybody, which we know that kind of thing happens, then you would have forever been asking yourself, could I have done something to stop it? Since that didn't exactly. happen, then those that sit back with cooler heads would say that's not the percentage play. Mm -hmm. And because I asked myself this, would I do that? And sitting at my desk at home, not being in the pressure of the moment, I said, no, I wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why I wouldn't do it. I always look at people's motivation. And you come to a bank for money. Mm -hmm. A school shooter goes to school for blood. Mm -hmm. Now, if I see somebody walking down a school hall with a gun, I know they're there for blood. I see somebody walk into a bank with a gun, I know they're there for money. Mm -hmm. it, it didn't mean my money. So, I'm, and I know these things are usually over pretty quick. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, th I told myself when I was looking at this last night, I wouldn't have done that. Let's find out what an expert has to say. We got a security expert here, Rosemary Erickson. Uh, Rosemary, what's the smart play day in and day out in this sort of thing? The advice is always to not resist in a robbery. Give up the money, follow the robber's instructions, don't do anything, don't make them nervous, because statistically you will be better off if you do not resist. Mm -hmm. In bank robberies, only 4% end up with any injury or violence. Okay. And 82% of injuries in robberies are due to resistance. I've studied those tapes, I've looked at all of our interviews of you, I've read everything. And I think you are anything uh, but a money-grabbing opportunist. You seem to me to be a very down-to-earth, hard-working guy. You never file a lawsuit in your life. I think it is really unfair that you're being demonized, but the odds are better if you don't do it next time. <laughs>